Major Slack Videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack, and thanks for joining me again. And this is how to get a, not the, but a stun gun in, um, the video game Prey. We're pro playing Prey. Show where I am right now. We just left uh, Morgan Yu's office. We're very early in the game. And there's actually two stun guns uh, that will guarantee to spawn at this point in the game. I'm going to show you where they are. Yabity! One is way back. One I knew I was walking by in part one. And I was going to leave it for later. I had this big plan to to get it, which I'm doing right now. Another one I didn't know that I was walking by. And I'm going to show you that one. That's even earlier. And when you come back this way, we're going back to the Neuromod Division, okay? That first big area that you um, encounter mimics. When you come back this way, there's always this floating ash can. And this is a mimic for sure. We can just... Buck shot shampoo is ours. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Tough day to be a mimic. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Okay. Back to the Neuromod division, okay? We've been here before, right at the beginning of the game. Alright, here we are in the Transstar Neuromod lobby. Should be clear. Let's go way back. To the beginning. Take a little jaunt here. Back to the office area. Back to the simulation lab. Just basically retrace our steps way back to the beginning. And Morgan's a little tuckered out, aren't you, Morgan? Back through here. Back to the simulation lab area. And into the simulation lab office. Simulation debriefing. Alright. This is where we open that safe that you can see the code from in the video screen. Right? And on top of this control panel here. Yeah, sneaky little buggers. We can just get up there. There we go. Up we go. Take the note. Sorry, Morgan. Not sure how you manage this, but I can't let you have this key card. Trust me. You'd regret it. Here is a briefcase. It's always here, and it always has the same stuff. Okay, it has heavy gear optimizer, a chipset, a med kit. Some yum yums and a stun gun plus a whole bunch of stun gun ammo. Excellent. I think that calls for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Okay, so that's the very first stun gun that you can acquire in the game. I walked right by that. I didn't know that that was there when I recorded part one. Now there's another one. Let's go get that, get that too because we can get some more stun gun ammo. Right now we have. Uh, here we go, it's this stuff here. Disruptor batteries, that's your stun gun ammo. Alright. And let me just rearrange my inventory here. And put this guy, like, right there. Yeah, you just park yourself here. Stun gun. Takes a while to load up. Once it's loaded up, zap the guy. Whomever, whatever. And he will stay zapped. For four seconds. Can be upgraded. Okay. Between the stun gun and the glue cannon, it's kind of a toss up. Um, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Stun gun takes a while to charge up, and with like heavy duty enemies, that's a real. Um, that's a. You know, that's something to consider. Especially when, like, you know, the charging up time is about the same charging up time that a phantom takes to blast you with a kinetic blast. So unless you upgrade it, um, yeah, it has its, uh, it has its drawbacks. 
compared with a fully upgraded uh, glue cannon, which is also a lot more versatile. Alright, back in... Let's go up here too, because I didn't go up here earlier on. Grab some goodies up here. This poor soul has some more... Glue cannon ammo. Alright, so back in this lobby here, the Neuromod Division lobby, there's the exit, right? I turn over here. There's kind of like a mezzanine. Right, there's a mezzanine. The only way you can get up there is to repair... These grab cannons here, or grab grab shafts, right? But you need repair one, which I'm gonna get anyways. But if you don't want to spend the neuromod to get repair one, the repair one neuromod, there's an easy way to get up there. Just take out your glue cannon and climb the wall like that. That should be enough to get high enough. Real up here, turn to the left, down this way, and this guy here always has. A disruptor stun gun laying beside him. Yeah. And he's got some more ammo. So we're packing. We're packing. We got a ton of ammo. You got a stun gun, and you got a ton of ammo. And you can either dismantle this one if you have the dismantled neuromod, or you can recycle it. So there you go. That's how to get yourself a stun gun. Now that we're in the area, um, let's go in here. The volunteer quarters. You get this key code from Bianca Goodwin's office. Bianca Goodwin's office is right next to your office in the executive office suite, okay? And when you go hit up her computer, um, this code is just given to you. So that's how you get the code, right? And if you want a lot of food, go in here and loot this place. First thing I'm going to show you here is a weapon upgrade kit. Let's grab this. I'm going to continue to upgrade my glue cannon. There you go. And continue to upgrade the incapacitation rate. So, now it's up to 180% improved. Which really kicks butt. Totally kicks butt. Takes only like three or four shots to stop a mimic or a phantom dead in their tracks. Um, so let's go looting. Now, what I did bring with me was the shotgun, because we're going to go into an area that is <laughs> that is way above our pay grade. And there's a reason we're going in there. I'm going to just talk about that later on. Um, but for now, let's loot everything here. Recycler charges. You read that for a little bit of story. Backstory. Shotgun shells down here. And this is kind of redundant. The Disruptor Stun Gun Fabrication Plan. But it's there. <laughs> we already have two two stun guns. We're going to go here later, okay? I'm not passing it by. We're going to go there later. We'll leave that for last. Uh, med kit. Let me just take a look around here. I'm good with that. Next, security terminal is inoperable. And my battery is about to run out. Let me just hunker down and wait a second here. It's dark slack, I know. I know, it's just tanked up, Bravo 6, tanked up. Okay, flashlight is coming. Here we go. Lots of puddings and whatnot in this... Uh, dining room area here. It's highly likely I'm going to max out my inventory. I'm going to have to make some decisions. Yeah, lots of food here. Very good.
Okay. Three spare parts, sweet. How are we doing? Almost maxed out. All the good stuff is down here. In these lockers. <laughs> yeah, the flashlight is running out. That's what's happening. You see the flashlight battery just above the health bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. Okay? And you'll see that slowly run down as you use your flashlight, okay, in case you're wondering what's going on. And that's it. Um, what's this? Nine mil bullets. Um, Want to make space for that? Fill up on health. Let's drop some of these food items that are only like uh, have a stack of one high. For example, we could just eat them, <laughs> even though we don't need to. There you go. Should be some uh, eel parts here or something, if I recall correctly. Also, there's a wrench here. I don't want to forget this. Yeah, definitely want to make space for that. Wrenches will give you... What's this here? Branches are worth one mineral material, which is pretty good. 1.2, actually. Oh, I'm getting 1.2 because I have um, the materials expert mod. Yeah, but normally it's one, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good yield as far as, um, you know, materials. Okay, I forgot where I left off looting. But I'm full up anyway, so. One more thing in here. If you go in here, there should be some frayed wire in here. Can't take it. Now I can. Don't hit that button, whatever you do, it'll restore power to this area. Which you may think is a good thing, <laughs> but what's going to happen is it's going to spawn. Uh, I don't do any spoilers, but um, it's going to spawn something that is way above your pay grade in this area. That's number one. Number two, it's going to make this door that we want to go to right now inaccessible. Okay, so let's just show you where that is. That's like the, the restroom area there, okay? We want to go back to the first office that we went to, alright? And we're going to go through that door there. Sorry guys, I thought I saw something. Okay, back to this office here where we found the weapon, weapon upgrade kit and then found the grenades there, remember? And the maintenance access tunnel, okay? Show where that is. Sorry, not there. Here. Alright, so that's where we're gonna go. Right in the volunteer quarters. Open this sucker up. You can turn off your flashlight now because it's more light in here. And we have this area here. Let me just see what's up on top of here. Okay. Now, we want to get up there. This is pretty easy. All you have to do is just plunk down some goop there. Climb on top. Plunk down some more goop here. Climb up top, and you should be able to get up to the top like that. Swing it on around, and down into this area here, the fabrication area. Now we're full up, but there is a recycler just beyond here. So I'm going to come back and loot this area afterwards, 
let's just first pick up this chipset here. This is completely random. Every single time I pick this up, completely random. What do we get this time? Reduces damage sustained while sliding. <laughs> okay. How many of you actually sustain damage while sliding? That's a big problem, you know? I, I can't stand, you know, when I'm doing a really cool, cool slide and, uh, you know, something's shooting at me when I'm doing the slide. Uh, that's that's going to solve that problem right there. Boy, I'm glad I found this. Okay, I should hook this one up, though. <laughs> it's like, really... Okay, like I said, loot these guys after us. I have no more space. We can free up some space, though, by going down into this area here. And repairing this recycler. And I want to get the Repair 1 Neuromod anyway, so let's get that now. It's definitely on the agenda. Engineer right here repair one one please and now we can repair this guy oh I should have told you at the beginning bring at least six spare parts <laughs> well I'm telling you now <laughs> slack why didn't you tell me before okay sorry yeah bring bring at least six spare parts and we can repair this recycler now we can offload a lot of our stuff including this wrench and uh, one of these disruptors Here, and that'll free up a lot of space in the inventory. And give us some materials. Very good. Alright, now, um, we want to go back up there. Don't forget that recycler charge. This is kind of finicky, but it can be done. Up here. Up here. There we go, I'm up on this ledge now. I was up on the ledge. There we go, this is exactly where I want to be. Now, some glue there. There we go, and we're back in. Alright, think no problem. <laughs> Grab some stuff off that guy. We've already looted his chipset. Let's grab some stuff off this guy, including some spare parts. Take a look around. Now be be advised, there's a big bad boy in here, okay? Sometimes he sees you. Okay, we're good. Okay, next we want to go into the fabrication room. In this room is a techno path. Techno paths are really tough hombres, and they can commandeer turrets. There's some. There's a turret right there. As soon as this techno path sees us, he's going to commandeer that turret. So I'm just going to wait. Okay, there he is, right there. See that guy right there. I think he already has a turret with him. That's not good. He's on to us a little bit. These things have a lot of hit points. This is essentially way above our pay grade right now. So why are you gonna do it, Slack? Because... <laughs> because I can. Now there's something in there we want. You can actually just speed run in and get it, it's no problem. But, um... In the process of doing that, I was curious as to whether there was a way to take this guy down without having to spend a bazillion shotgun shells. 
which is what you could do. You just go go at him with a shotgun, and maybe about a dozen or or fifteen shotgun shells, you'll take him down. If you want to waste that many shotgun shells on him, but you don't need to do that. Okay, first thing, let's get rid of this turret so he doesn't commandeer another turret. He's already got one. That may happen. He may arrive on the scene. He's already commandeered one of the turrets. And that turret will be right beside the one I just picked up. So I just want to park this guy out here so he's inaccessible. Next, I want to stockpile a whole bunch of explosive containers. Where's this guy? Okay, great. And lay a little trap. Right in this room here. Now he has, he makes a kind of a tour here. Looks like he's coming here now. Nope, okay. Get right about here to lay this trap. Just like Bioshock. <laughs> These things are vulnerable to explosions. So, this is going to mess them up big time. They also can be stunned with the stun gun that you just picked up. I just want to get this last. Uh, there he is, right there. Trap is set. All right. Let's see where he is. There he is, right there. Just to piss him off. <laughs> Get him to take the bait. Come on in, big boy. Come on in. You know you wanna. Atta boy. Open the door. Jeez. There, half his health down already. <laughs> okay. Now, it's a matter of staying hidden, and then we're going to zap him and finish him off with a shotgun. These things, they got this, I, th I believe it's called the Kinetic Blast, and it will mess you right up. It's like this electrical zap ball zap thingy that, oh man, if he starts firing those, it's basically bail out and run away like a little girl.
There we go. Down you go. <laughs> Who's your daddy? So that's how to take down a technopath. Be advised that technopaths can disable any weapon that relies on um, electrical power, such as your glue cannon. They're, they're completely immune to the glue cannon. Forget it. Okay? And if they see you, they'll disable your stun gun. So you may charge up a charge and you're facing him. If he sees you, he'll disable that. So basically, you can only use the stun gun whoops, um, when um, you're in sneak mode and he hasn't detected you. Alright? So there we go. And we get 15 Typhon organs from him. So that's, that's worth it. Alright? And that is it for this video. Coming up next is right dead ahead. I'm going to show you how to get the Neuromod fabrication plan. That's right. You can fabricate your own Neuromods. You want to do that, right? Yes, yeah, Slack. I really want to do that. Yeah, I, I thought so. That's coming up next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all my videos hot off the press. All right. See you next video.